Today's tech tip regards creating a plot in GT Post by putting two different data sets together, particularly of different units. So starting out, you can see in the GT Post interface here, it's very easy to look at part output of any given part simply by clicking on the part on the map. So for example, if you look at the cylinder part of a GT Power engine performance model, you can look at not only instantaneous plots like cylinder pressure, but you can look at also things like case RLTs, which record averages and minimums and maximums over a given engine cycle. So for example, let's try to make a plot of engine power and engine torque together on the same exact plot. If you click on the engine crank train part here, you'll be taken to the case RLT tab of the part output dialog and you can see brake torque and brake power plotted here, but they're not in the same plot. So to make a new plot of that, we're gonna create a custom GU file by clicking on this button in the part output dialog. You can see this plot for the brake torque was sent to this custom report file. Now we wanna add the brake power to that as well. We can simply drag the data set into the plot or send it to the GU file as well. So we're gonna drag this power data set right into the plot and it's gonna ask us to assign, since the units are different, it's gonna ask us to assign the data set to a new axis. So we're gonna hit yes and we're gonna do some renaming by hitting the F2 button. And since I know this is the power data set and I know the bottom one here is the torque data set, I'm gonna name them accordingly. Now if I go to hit the F4 button to view this plot, you can see these plots are right on top of each other now. And then after this, you can do simple customization simply by double clicking on the axis. So for example, this will bring up the plot properties. And for example, I'm gonna change the, the font size everywhere on the plot to be 24 font to make the font look bigger. And including the legend as well. And then you can see the, the font size is updated. And I'm gonna bring this legend down just to show you how you can easily drag and drop with the legend. And then finally, you can also do custom properties like uh, changing the color size and the symbol size of each individual data set. You can do that simply by right-clicking at the plot level, going to Children Properties, modifying the data, and then inside the properties here under Display, I'm going to change the line thickness to be a little bit thicker, and I'm going to change the style to be squares for both uh, data sets. So if I hit Finish, and then I review the plot, you can see now the line thickness is bigger. So that's today's tech tip.